I finally recently saw Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, the recent MCU movie, and the start of Phase 5 in the MCU, which is insane. And this is the third Ant-Man movie, I, I finally got around to watching it, and it's pretty good. Nothing mind-blowing, not the epic grand spectacle movie that I was expecting. I'm pretty sure not a lot of us were expecting, but I don't think it's as bad as some people really make it out to be. Like, it does have its issues. Like I'll say, it's not like a top tier MC movie. Like, a, I don't say a thousand top tier, but it's definitely not up there. It's not like one of the best ones on here. It's probably a little more middle tier, bottom tier, and it's kind of someone that pretty much enjoys every MC movie, so take that where you will. It does have the issues, I can I think it's, it, I think the tones do kind of clash at times, like it tries to be a big epic grand story. Yeah, it try, yeah, it still has that same Ant-Man simple tone, and it kind of clashes a few times, I'm not gonna lie. And some individuals can be kind of bad at times, and I think it's up with some pacing problems in the first act as well, and I was, there were some characters that had a little more screen time, looked at like Bill Murray, and even lost to an extent, <laughs> but... Overall, for what this film did, I really enjoyed it. Again, Paul Rudd is as likable as ever. I thought Karen did a pretty good job portraying Cassie. Cassie as well. I did like what they did with her character. I think Michelle finally got a lot more to shine as Janet here. The action was humor as good as you expect from a modern movie, and this is definitely good as you expect. Like the humor's not like top tier, but it's still pretty good. The action's not top tier, but it's still pretty good. Boys W though is King the Conqueror, and John the Major is like was amazing in this movie, and I love the way he brought the king in this movie, and I'm definitely very excited. Say what you want me, but I tell, I'm very excited to see what King of Conqueror brings to the remainder of Phase 5. It's it's weird how um, this film put got the perception that it did, honestly, but then they could probably the Marvel could probably change a few things, honestly, but... Well, and it was quite me I did. I thought it was good. Again, it wasn't as epic, it wasn't as game-changing as I was hoping it would be. I definitely wasn't that... Honestly, but what is it was pretty good. Nothing extraordinary or anything. It's pretty much what you expect from a Marvel movie at this point. Honestly, and that could be a good or bad, depending on who you talk to. But me, I enjoyed it. Not a top DMC movie, but still a pretty good one. I would still recommend it, sir. I would still recommend it.